Hello everybody. So I'm Sabik. I am from IPMO3 from I am Rotak and I'm here to deal with syllogisms, right? And the best thing about this chapter would be the fact that if you know the theory well, you'll be able to answer every single question coming from the chapter. And other than that, the questions could be around 1 to 3 in number from this chapter and in that process you can get around 4 to 12 marks if you are able to invest some time in this video and it's more clear to practice after this. So without any further delay, let's get started. Quick question. What is the population of India? Well, according to the World Bank, it is 140 plus crores, 0.95% increase since 2021. But do the math. How many applicants will be applying to your dream college or the course that you want to get into? A very large number, probably in thousands or lakhs. Now, how will you stand up to those large numbers? An academy, yes, leading education platform brings with it the learning festival, where you get 20% off on all the courses and on your subscription. You also get 45 plus day subscription at the lowest amount of 299 rupees for the courses of INTJ preparation, NEET UG preparation, and A to 12 class preparation. Now, what do you get in these courses? You get live at classes from the top educators, 24 hour 7 doubt solving, personalized academic counseling. So, when you get all these benefits, what are you waiting for? This is your ticket to stand out. More information is in the description. Alright. Being a good person is like a goalkeeper. No matter how many goals you save, people will remember only the ones you missed. A little bit philosophical note, firstly. Well, the thing is, See, uh, people are judged by their bad deeds over their good deeds every time, right? It's just a characteristic of human nature. And uh, why is that brought in a syllogism class? Because we've got to use this thought process in our way of dealing questions as well. And uh, further details, we'll, uh, I'll let you know in the coming questions or in the coming slides, right? Yeah. Alright, so now the next few minutes we'll be spending on getting the theories right, okay? And uh, in syllogism, there are four different cases. And if you know all these four cases properly, if, you, if you've if you covered all of these or got to know about all these four cases, you'll be able to answer any question. And uh, each case will have different Venn diagrams that you've got to draw, okay? So for example, this case will have two Venn diagrams, the next case will have one Venn diagram, etc. And uh, make sure that you are able to get these Venn diagrams inside your mind. You shouldn't buy hard this, it's it's just basic common sense. And if you are able to figure out the logic, uh, then you've already got it set for this chapter. So let's get started with the first case. So we have four cases. The first case will be universal affirmative. So universal, that means in all cases, right? Every time. An affirmative could be positive, right? So every time things are positive, or you can say all A or B. Examples can be like all cats are dogs, all vegetables are animals. All those bizarre statements will be coming in syllogism questions. You've not really got to ponder about that instead. It's all about you know getting the syllogism inside all these questions. And uh, all A or B. Now this one particular case has two different Venn diagrams to draw. So let's start drawing them, right? All A, R, B. We'll try black. Let's say this is circle A and then we have a bigger circle. This one is B, right? So, in this case, every part of A is part of B, right? It is part of the bigger circle. And then we have another case, something like this. This is A, and we have a similar circle on top of this. Okay. You can say A is equal to B, right? I hope you got the point. So A and B are similar circles, the same thing, but then we different we have different terms. So you can say in this case, all A are B at the same time. All B are A. 
that's a difference between case one and case two. Okay, here all A are B. In case one, all A are B. But the vice versa is not happening. All B are not A, right? So these are the two Venn diagrams that we've got to draw from the first case, universal affirmative. Next. So I've also kind of inserted the pictures so that you can refer to this later on. Take the pic, you can take the screenshot or whatsoever so that you can find it useful. And yeah, so these were the cases. The second diagram, A and B, they are the same circle. So I've just brought up a reflection of that to not let things be a confusing, you know, sum, right? So now case two. Universal negative. So in all cases, everything would be negative or a no. No A or B or no apples or dogs, no vegetables or animals, etc. We just have a simple Venn diagram for this, just a single Venn diagram, and that will be this. Very simple. There is no common point between A and B. There is no intersection between A and B. All you've got to do is draw two distinct circles, separate it properly. And uh, you've you've constructed the Venn diagram for case two. All right. Let's get to the next case then. So I've also inserted this. Now case three. Particular affirmative, right? So affirmative is positive. Particular would be in some cases, right? So some A R P. Some cats are dogs. Some vegetables are animals, etc. And uh, here we have four Venn diagrams. Let's draw the first one. We'll have something like this. So, there is one common rule that we can use to identify such Venn diagrams, which are under case three. So, all you've got to figure out is you have to check whether each of these Venn diagrams have A intersecting. I guess eleven standard math students have a bit of an idea about intersection, right? There is a this is this is a symbol for intersection. An inverted U. It simply means there is a shared portion between A and B. So this is B. This is A. If this is A, then the portion which is shared by A and B would be this portion, right? So this is the intersection, or you can say this is A intersect B, right? Great. So. If we can figure out an A intersect B in every kind of Venn diagram, then we can say that all of these Venn diagrams are under case three. Next Venn diagram. Familiar, right? Yeah, in the first case we had the similar one. So this is also another example. Doesn't really look like a circle, but never mind. And then we have this one, similar to the first one, of course. Again. Here, the common point would be the entire circle A. This is the A intersect B, and then we have a fourth diagram where A is the bigger circle, B is the smaller circle, and uh, this one would be the common point. So in this case, this would be A intersect B. So as long as you can figure out an A intersect B in any of these diagrams, all these diagrams would be under case. Simple as that. Next, we we'll get to the Fourth case, right? Again, I've, I've I've put the Venn diagrams over here, and now uh, case four. All right, so a little bit of a correction is required. It is particular negative, right? So here we have three Venn diagrams, and uh, as you can see, some A are not B. That is what is B. Brought up, so some parts of A shouldn't be parts of B. So we can draw this one, first one as uh, in the in the case three. So you can see that this portion of A is not part of B. So this works. This is the first Venn diagram that we can draw, and then we have this one, quite familiar. Uh, it was part of case two. No A R B. So even here, the entire portion of A is not part of B. So we can we can put this under case four. Then we have the third one, which is this one. 
This is not the first case. This is not the Venn diagram of the first case. It's the reverse one. P is the smaller circle, as you can see. So even here, this is the portion. It is part of A, but it is not part of B. I hope I made myself clear. Right. So these are the four Venn diagrams. You can perhaps take the screenshots, like I said before, of all these diagrams, and then you know, kind of rearrange them together so that you can look into it someday later as well. And now we've actually covered all the theory part. We do the questions next, and uh, we'll also get to the part where I, you know, the one the code that I had mentioned would be playing an important role. And uh, yeah, so let's straight away jump into the questions. Thank you.